guys, welcome back to another video, and it's Mia, and obviously, <laughs> my hair, my hair, my hair drives me nuts, drives me nuts, drives me nuts, okay, okay, <laughs> just don't make any sort of boobs, alright, um, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys, 10, struggle, only students would understand, possibly elementary school and middle school and high school, if you're a student that goes to school, you'd understand. <laughs> now I'm gonna make this into a series where I list top 10, bunch of different things, just everything top 10. And I'm even gonna make a playlist for you guys special once there's more than one video on top 10. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first struggle is, says, my answer equals 23. Answer choices, 170, 195, 264, and 392. Well, 170 is closest to 23, so that must be the answer. Okay, this one is so true because have you guys ever had that moment where you like guess your answer, or just come up with an answer, and then it's none of the answer choices, so you just estimate whichever number it's closest to because i do that all the time okay this next quote is i'm gonna wing it me about something i most definitely should not wing now this is so true um if there's like a test or something i'll just be like i'm gonna win it i'm just gonna go by my brain which is totally empty it's something i should not wing but i wing it and also guys if you can relate to any of this or do any of this too definitely write it in the comment section down below or if you have any more things that like struggles as a student send me that too number three when you're taking a test and everyone is using a ruler and you cannot figure out what the ruler is for now this is me with everything um when i took my science final everybody was taking out rulers and everybody was ahead of me and i was like what are the rulers for why is everybody taking a ruler and it just took me so long to figure out what i used the ruler for and i'm like what is the ruler for and i don't know but everybody else knows but me it's like i'm like just that just that kid that has no idea anything that's going on and everybody just like goes with it so i just try to follow them okay so this next one says trying to make the word count on an essay very young small early peas i'm sorry but this is too too relatable for me anytime there's like a word count i like just i just keep putting like small tiny miniature just try to make the longest words and the most words i can even if it means the exact same thing just to hit the word count it'll sound ridiculous but at least i don't fail number five i think i think it's five we'll go with five when the professor is explaining something to someone when you're in the middle of an exam yes i understand this because this is annoying when like I had this loud math teacher and like it would be like the middle of a test and everything would be silent and she'd yell out 10 more minutes and it, would, and it would just drive me nuts it would lose my focus and I'd be like shush just zip it okay number six I'm gonna study at five I'm gonna study at six I'm gonna study at seven I'm gonna study at eight I'm gonna study at nine this is so me because I am the biggest procrastinator anybody could ever meet, I feel like. Like, I will just wait until hours before something is due, even if I had over a month to do it. It's just how I am. I'm a major procrastinator, so even if it comes down to just little things like homework or studying, I'll just push it an hour and an hour to, like, watch a TV show or go on my computer or just do something else. Okay, number seven. I'm <laughs> difficult counting this, but... When you finish an exam and your friends are arguing whether the answer was 75 or 80, but what you got was negative 4. Yes, when like other kids finish an exam and they're all just like, it's 75, it's 80, or just it's a random answer, and I'm like, yeah, I was in the negatives. I was way off. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm just sitting there in the corner like shaking my head like, yes, yeah, yeah, I, I think it was 75. Um, maybe it was 80, but I... But I'm just sitting there with like a negative four and I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Yeah, you, you guys, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Number eight, I'm going to say, but I have no clue. When your teacher thinks you aren't listening and asks you a question, but you get it right. I know, that moment, that moment. She thinks you're not listening, but you're like half listening or like a quarter listening. Like you can just hear what she's saying, but you're thinking about something else and you just like go off of what she said or does and you get it right. It's just that moment. This is my moment, my moment. What, were, what was that, seven, eight? Number eight. <laughs> Probably the best thing you've heard all day. I haven't started my homework either. Yes, yes. That makes me feel so much better if I didn't do the homework and I'm gonna like do it at lunch or something and I just hear somebody else saying they, they didn't start the homework. It's like, at least now I won't be the only one. At least now I won't be like yelled at on my This next one, number nine. When someone is fixing to remind the professor about homework, a bunch of us forgot to do. And you're like, you i can so relate to this though like whenever kids are like what about the homework Don't, you didn't check the homework i'm like why why because you're the only one here that got the homework and you get to think oh you forgot the homework i just it just it's so cringy for me because it's like no i didn't do that homework and you remind them and now i'm gonna get in trouble because you can't keep your mouth shut I'm getting way too angry over this. This is why it's summer vacation for me. This is why I need summer vacation. Okay, now number 10, the teacher. The highest test score was 97 and only one person failed with 32 and me. What idiot failed that? Get my test back. You're never gonna believe what it said. It said 32. I'm just like, No, because, like, seriously, though, like, if she's just, like, only one person failed and I failed, I'm just like, oh, oh, I wonder, I wonder who that person was. Oh, yeah, who was that? Ha, ha, ha. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm super sorry that I cannot count, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like for more videos. Like this and check out the channel for the playlist. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification notification bell next to it. Don't forget to check out Nikki's videos and leave comments of how many of these you relate to. If you relate to all of them, if you relate to none of them. And if you can come up with any more, you can also leave suggestions of other top 10 things you want me to do. And this will be a new series. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like.